What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful, my powerful, and my sexy Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, you guys, so we're going to pull up some self-care messages, and we're going to see what spirit wants you guys to know, and then we're going to get into this situation should be. So if anything resonates for you, Scorpio, don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Also comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal, my email will be in the description box below. Okay. All right, Scorpios, let's go. So the first card we have is journal. Okay. The number 29 could be significant, Scorpio. You could have been born on 1029. Journaling gives you an opportunity to like express yourself, okay? You know, sometimes Scorpio will be all in our head, okay? And throughout the day, situations occur, right? Things happen. But when you journal, when when you let out, like journaling can be an outlet for you, okay? If you're not good with like expressing yourself or communicating your feelings, journaling is a great way to do so, okay? Some of you, it's the weekend, baby, okay? Spirit is saying it could be an opportunity just to watch a movie, you know, get on your couch. Find, you know, your favorite little movie, cuddle up with your little blanket or whatnot, and just watch a good movie, okay? Whatever you like to watch. You guys, I personally like comedies and action movies. I don't really do love movies, and I damn sure don't do no horror movies, right? But, you know, just find your little favorite movie and just cuddle up in your favorite little spot and just watch some movie. This watch, watch a movie. This is a way to unwind, okay? Also, we have beauty ritual, okay, for my men. This could be, hey, go on and buy yourself a new fit. Go get your hair cut up. Go get your, go get your line up. You know what I'm saying? Go get your hair done. You can do something nice for yourself as well. Women, you go get your nails done, toes cut done, get your hair done. If you can't afford to do that, hell, fingernail polish costs a dollar twenty-five at the Dollar Tree, two dollars depending on where you at. You can get your own fingernail polish, Scorpio. I got a whole box full of fingernail polish. I don't go nowhere and get my nails did. I do these shits from the house, okay? <laughs> So doing some type of beauty ritual is just a way of, of showing yourself love, okay? A way of giving yourself self-love, okay? A way of nurturing yourself. We also have read, okay? If you don't feel like sitting down, watching a good movie, find a good book for you, okay? Because reading could actually teach you something, okay? You can find something that's interesting and, and you know, fuck around and be like, okay, I may, you may, you know, want to read more on a subject here. So reading, Scorpio, could be very good for you okay i can think of a word i want to you okay learning i feel like could be uh what they say um learning gives you power okay it expands your mind here all right scorpio so let's pull for my situation ship deck if anything resonates for you don't forget to like share and subscribe scorpio let me shuffle through these for a little second okay all right messages for my scorpio holy spirit what is it that my Scorpios need to know at this time? Messages for my Scorpios. What is it that my Scorpios need to know at this time, Holy Spirit? Messages for my Scorpios. All right, Scorpio. Mm. All right, so we got getting my money right, okay? I don't have enough to offer financially, okay? So somebody, Scorpio, could be like this king of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who could be suffering financially, okay? But this is someone who also has, I feel like, been working their ass off, okay? But this is someone, because they are suffering financially or because their money is not right, they getting their money right, okay? This is someone, Scorpio, when they come towards you, they want to be able to help you. They want to be able to provide for you, okay? They want to be able to take care of you. But because of some circumstances or things they have going on now, this person doesn't feel like they have enough to offer you financially here, okay? So this could be someone, maybe they're used to situations, like they're used to dealing with men or women, like, you know, you got to pay bills, you got to do this, you got to spend a little, you know what I'm saying? You got to spend a little something, something to get a little something, something. So somebody here, like their mind, the way they think, it's like, oh, I got to be able to take care of Scorpio, which, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, but I feel like this is more of an emperor energy. Like this is someone that wants to come in and be your emperor, but they want to be able to provide for you, okay? So Scorpio, you could be doing something 
where, you know what I'm saying, you're able really to take care of yourself. I feel like you're very financially secure. And if you're not, you will be, okay? But this is someone that, that feels like they don't have enough to offer you financially. See, I feel like this person doesn't want to come towards you if they can't offer, okay? Can't give to you, okay? But this is somebody, Scorpio, that feels like you are the best sex that they've ever had, okay? So somebody, Scorpio, has some type of sexual tie to you, okay? Now, Scorpio, you can have a sexual tie to this person, okay? Now, what this means, Scorpio, is when you was having sex with this person, baby, they was doing things to your body, you know what I'm saying? Like, they was touching you, they was caressing you, they was hitting places, baby, you ain't even know you had, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't even know you had me, you went that thing in places that you ain't even know existed either, okay? And I feel like because of this strong sexual connection that you share with somebody it's like shit scorpio i ain't gonna lie and i i hate to even say this but i gotta keep it real you know what i'm saying like that's the one thing about my twin that that's the one thing i can say i have not found anyone six and i ain't only done deal with one other person since him you know what i'm saying they compared to him and even when i thought about other people from my past i was like nah that nigga got the number one spot you know what i'm saying so someone here scorpio on your little six list they, they in that number one spot or you can be in someone else's number one spot as well okay some of you guys could have got a little frisky y'all could have used some little handcuffs here somebody scorpio thinking about handcuffing your ass okay messages for my scorpio holy spirit tell us more what is it that my scorpios need to know messages for my scorpio tell us ooh, okay but Scorpio, even though you had, this was the best sex that you ever had with this person. I mean, okay, I'm saying Scorpio, like this sex, baby, it was like out this world. Like you guys, I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> That's why a lot of my cards, I'm telling you, like it was based off my experience, but I'm not knowing you guys, we all gonna share the same experience, right? So it was like, I feel like the sex was so good between you and this person, Scorpio. It was to the it was to the point to where this, this relationship was toxic. But I feel like the sex outweighed the toxicity. I feel like you didn't really got kind of you really kind of missed some red flags. Like Spirit was trying to show you about how toxic this person was because I feel like the sex had your head gone, Scorpio. Okay, so this is someone that was very toxic. And what I mean by toxic Scorpio, okay, this was a narcissist. This was someone who had a big ego. This is someone who didn't feel they had to be held accountable for their actions. Okay, so let me tell you something that I'm learning about this word toxic. Because when I first started listening to readings, you know what I'm saying? You know when you first when you first start. I know some of you guys think about, you know, the terminology and stuff you first heard. I was like, toxic. Like I've heard of toxic, but to hear it being broken down in spiritual terms, you be like, Well, damn, I think I might have been a little bit toxic too, Scorpio. We all was a little toxic. Like we all ain't been great. We all start we all trying to get great. You know what I'm saying? I can admit myself, hell, I was a little toxic. Before I became spiritual, you know what I'm saying? That's why we had to change and evolve so that we can we didn't have to be that way anymore, right? But this is someone here. Let me tell you something. This is what I had to learn. I learned this from my mom. And this is how I got to see other people, you know, toxic ways. Like my mom, like the, the biggest issue me and my mama have is that why I can't connect with her is that she see no wrong. She ain't did, she ain't never did nothing wrong with her tell it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, okay, so I just been wrong all my damn life. You know what I'm saying? But it's like People, some people don't like to take accountability to see people, some in their eyes, because, you know, we all have our own perspective. We all, you know what I'm saying, came into this world with our own perspectives, right? But as you grow and evolve and you start to see things differently, you see the world differently, you can see other people's point of view. But see, some people, they ego so big, they don't see nobody's point of view. They don't see nobody's perspective. You know what I'm saying? But theirs. So it's like when you, when you go through your whole life feeling like you right, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else in the world is wrong. You know what I'm saying? You always flipping that victim card type shit. Like, that makes you toxic. When you can't, when you sit up there and do something, but you can't acknowledge what you do wrong or even say you're sorry. Like, my mama, she ain't never said she's sorry. So that's why we can't never have a conversation because she never has taken accountability for anything. And then when you start pointing the finger at her and telling her about herself, see, she get defensive. And she don't want to talk, and she'll try to flip the script. You know what I'm saying? And then be like, well, you did this and you did that, but you can't take accountability. Like, I can sit up here and say what I did, but can you take accountability for what you did, okay? 
So someone here didn't feel they had to be held accountable for whatever. I don't know what reason these people be feeling like Scorpio. They don't have to be held accountable, okay? Because long as I, as long as I've been here, I know it was only one guy. You know what I'm saying? So. You know what I'm saying? There's only one Jesus here, okay? So I don't think nobody else was reincarnated to be God or Jesus, okay? We're trying to be more God-like. That's why we're God and goddesses, okay? But we are not that person, okay? But this is someone, they ain't want to never be held accountable. And the main reason this person didn't want to be held accountable because they didn't see shit wrong. This is someone that never sees nothing wrong with anything they do. They can point their finger at you all day and tell you about how you ain't did this and you did and you did and that. But point your finger at them one damn time and see how how quick they flip the script on your ass, okay? This person, Scorpio, that feels like you're the best sex that they've ever had, Scorpio, this person has been energetically hanging on to you, okay? So what this means, Scorpio, you done did all type of court, cutting rituals, you done tried your best to energetically remove this person. But they saying, Scorpio, they ain't going no damn where, okay? And this person is hanging on, baby, for dear life. Why, Scorpio? Because you released this person. For some of you, if you feel like this person is always in your energy, Scorpio, they ain't never going away, it's because you release them. If you have not, Scorpio, you need to release them. Now, when you release them, Scorpio, that doesn't mean they're not still going to be in your energy, okay? This person's probably always going to be in your energy, but it doesn't have to take over your energetic field. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I released my twin, when I was like, all right, I'm over this connection, I want to move on, I want to do this and do that. That was my way of release. And now my twin is always going to be in my energy while because he's my other half, right? But I don't feel the energy as heavily. You know what I'm saying? Like those, like, like this person, he doesn't take over my energy, okay? Sometimes my twins, these people from the past, we allow them to overtake our energy, okay? But when you release this person, when you tell spirit, when you walk into the to the unknown, when you take that leap of faith and you tell the Holy Spirit, I want to release this person, I want to walk away from this connection, I want to move on with my life, and I want to do better, and I want to become a better person, that's when you release this person. That's when you release that toxic hold that they have on you, okay? And you're able to free yourself from that toxic connection, okay, and start to do that, that inner work, okay? So I feel like, Scorpio, you release this person. Even though, Scorpio, this was the best sex that you ever had, baby. I'm talking about the best sex. Like, you guys shit dealing with my twin, y'all. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Message. So if we just talking, Scorpio, shit, we grown here, okay? We all grown. So I'm the type of person, Scorpio, and all. I used to want, like, damn, what kind of cool again I got, okay? <laughs> I used to want, like, shit, what kind of cool again I got? Because it was so hard for me. To put some that, Scorpio. Like I, I always had to be on top, and while I was on top, I got to get directions. Like shit, nigga, do this, do that. You know what I'm saying? But with this motherfucker here, y'all, it was like I didn't even have to tell this man. Like you know, we talked about you know what I'm saying stuff, and it was like I felt like this man was writing down notes. And when we had our first sexual experience, baby, it was like he knew everything. He even found some places and and showed me some things I didn't even know about. Okay, <laughs> but it was like that still wasn't enough because at the end of the day, he ain't had shit else to offer me but sex. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, that shit was good. But it was like at the end of the day when I look in that cup, baby, and ain't shit else there to offer me but shit. A wet cootie camp. I need more than that. You know what I'm saying? We needed just a little bit more, Scorpio. All right, so let's see who this reading is about. I love you, Scorpio. We got Gemini, Cancer, Heavy Leo. We got Pisces, Virgo, uh, Pisces, Virgo, Aries. Yeah, let me do it again. Pisces, Virgo, Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Heavy Sash, and Taurus. Ooh, excuse me. All right, Scorpio, I love you. And until next time, baby, stay blessed.